The number of mosques has grown dramatically over the past decade. Their growth has increased despite public resistance to their construction and from conservatives who say they promote radicalism. In the post 9-11 era, there's a, a bit of a chill on civil liberties, their government policies that target uh, uh, American Muslims. The survey that counts 2,106 mosques marks a 74 percent increase since the beginning of the millennium when there are only 1,209 mosques. But it also shows that more Muslims are adapting to suburban life. Today's mosques are also trying to keep up with current trends. Many have adjusted their conventional praying regimen to adapt to modern society. Dr. Hassan Bagbi is an Islamic studies professor and a co-author of the study. I spoke to him from his home state of Kentucky. The steady number of converts that um, come to Islam, it's not a spectacular rate, but it is a steady rate. And converts... Uh, compose a significant percentage of the American Muslim community. The study on the growth of mosques was done to examine the integration of Muslims into American life. The study is sponsored by the Council on American Islamic Relations. It shows that the majority of mosque growth has happened in cities, but it hasn't only been restricted to urban areas. 28% of mosque growth has happened in suburban environments, up 16% from the year 2000. New York has the highest number of mosques at 257, with California close behind at 246. However, in 2000, the Northeast was the region with the most mosques. Now the highest number a decade later is in the South. The Muslim community, the, who are largely immigrants, um, as the Pew study and the Gallup study have showed, uh, are a very integrated uh, community. Experts say the growing number of mosques is proof that Islam is the fastest growing religion in the U.S., adding more flavor to the U.S. melting pot. Colin Campbell, Press TV, Washington.